Am I the asshole for dropping our dinner on the ground and walking out when my boyfriend asked me, what's for dinner tonight, bitch? Bro, why does that not say ex-boyfriend? Literally, uh, that is an insane thing to say. I was over at my boyfriend's apartment this weekend and was cooking dinner because he was studying for exams. I made pasta and chunky sauce with meatballs and veggies. I told him dinner was ready and he goes, what's for dinner tonight, bitch? With a lot of emphasis on the last word. I was fed up. I had a pretty rough day with work and I saw some awfully bad associations with the word being used by other people in my life who were pretty abusive. Don't have to justify it. So I was irritated that I dropped the pot of pasta sauce I've been carrying right on the ground and was like, well, nothing's for dinner right now and better not hear you uh, using that word again. It's for the girls. He was freaking out about how sauce had landed on his rug and he even said, you're seriously acting like a bitch right now. I don't know what else to call it. I just walked out got and got take, take out for myself and went to my friend's house. She thought it was funny, but my boyfriend was furious. He kept texting and calling and sending me voice memos trying to explain that saying what's for dinner tonight, bitch, was a TikTok trend. Leave him. And that was just him quoting something as a joke uh, to put on TikTok. I thought that was the shittiest excuse ever. It doesn't matter if he saw it as a joke or stole the joke. It was still disrespectful. But it didn't change the fact uh, he thought that shit was funny. To demean me when I was trying to do him a favor. Like hell, I came over when he was studying to make home-cooked dinner and he decides it's time for jokes. So I put my phone on don't disturb for the night and split a bottle of wine with my friend and her roommate. The next morning, he was sending me angry texts, demanding I clean his rug because he's too busy with exams to do it. I was shocked. He left it overnight. That's disgusting. I texted him back saying, I want to read this in a second. Um, this is a baby man. Like, this is, he's worried about the fucking rug. How are you going to be doing, uh, stu doing, uh, studying for exams and you have a girlfriend that's going to come over for one, spend her time to come over to your place make you dinner and you call her a bitch she runs out she leaves and you're mad at her and you're concerned about your rug like this is a psychopath person uh where was i so this is what she texted him back saying yeah so that's the bitch tax honey leave me alone till you're ready to handle your own cooking and cleaning because this bitch isn't anymore also it's vile you left that soaking in all night bro that is a perfect that is so a perfect fucking response like that is a perfect response he called me and told me he was okay with doing his own house uh hold work but i didn't uh, i did throw a pot of sauce on the ground so that's on me to clean up wait so the sauce is still on the ground bro what the fuck he left the sauce on the ground he's just gonna let her you have to come back over and clean it up fuck you okay um i told him yeah no, I'm not comfortable doing chores for you if you see me like you're a bitch. He told me he didn't and it was just a trend and I got pissed off he was playing that TikTok trend because BS excuse again and I told him, well, I'm starting a trend called saucing where a little joke people throw pasta sauce on the ground. You can't be mad because it's just a little trend, a little jokey joke, just a little prank, bro. He got really pissed off and hung up on me. Uh, now I'm seriously wondering if this dumb fucking TikTok joke is gonna be the end of things between us. How is it not the end of- How is him calling you a bitch not the end, uh, of things between you? Or him refusing to clean up the sauce, even though it's been a night. It's been overnight. Uh, or his reaction to you getting mad and walking out. And him trying to justify it in the dumbest way possible. Whatever. Uh, edit. To address a comment I've been getting a lot and I don't have time to reply, uh, but did you tell him not to call you bitch? Like, how would he have known otherwise? Okay, so we got a stupid person in the comments. Honestly, if someone has gotten to the age of 30, he's 30, bro. Wait, yo, he's 30? I thought this was like a fucking 19 year old or something. This is a 30 year old uh, man right here. Um, honestly, if someone has gotten to the age of 30 and not realized that women as a whole do not like having demeaning slurs used against them, they're beyond my help. This isn't something that needs to be told. I shouldn't go through life like, hey man, just in case you were thinking I might like demeaning slurs against my gender used on me, I don't actually. And if you were about to comment something like that, just let me know. Uh, okay, women do not like being called bitches. It doesn't matter, dude. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to justify it. It doesn't matter. Like
like the con- there is the context or anything. He you were doing him a favor. You were he was very demeaning to you, very disrespectful. I would never call my my girlfriend a bitch. Never. Not for any not even as a joke, never. Especially um if she's coming over to spend time with me and helping me out by making me food and, and being there for me, there is no way in fuck I would ever call her something like that. Uh, that that man is a 30-year-old baby. Why? Like, she should have broke up with him, like, immediately. That's wild. My uh, female 28 sister-in-law, Amy, uh, female 26, always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or domes up some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I have just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. She, hold up. She made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the asshole. And I'll admit, I got this move straight from an episode of Two of and a Half Men. That's fucking funny, dude. As we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car to pretend I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting right there on her suitcase. I put it in my purse and went back into the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet. I reached into my purse and said, this wallet? She was extremely furious. She said that I should not have touched and grabbed her wallet. So am I the asshole for taking her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? I'm not going to read the edit yet because this is an old story. Uh, I'm just going to give my opinion on it very quickly. Hell no, dude. Like, first of all, why are you? I would just like stop going to restaurants with this person. Like, this sister-in-law person is a, uh, doesn't seem like a very considerate, like, why would you even want to go out to eat with somebody who's not that considerate? Uh, she feels very, it seems like she's very entitled. Um, yeah, you're definitely not the asshole, and I would have probably done the same thing. Actually, no, I would have been more direct. I would have been like, nah, I don't want to go. I, I just don't want to go out to eat with you. Um, that's what I would have done. So I don't know why she didn't do that. But she's still not an asshole for doing that. That was a pretty good move, on, I, I would imagine. All right, uh, next one. Am I the asshole for suing my girlfriend after she had my 1967 Impala project taken to the scrapyard? What are you doing? Whoa, is she still your girlfriend, though? I'll try to keep this short. I had a 1967 Impala four-door that I brought in February 2019. A couple months ago, I bought my first house that had a 2.5 car garage. Okay, I, you're flexing, bro. Just get to the point. I moved the car in and started tearing it down for a complete restoration. I had the body in one bay and chases in another, plus the whole garage filled with parts. About two months ago, my girlfriend came to live with me during this whole crisis, and the whole time she hated this car. She wanted to park in the garage, but I had two acres of land with a lot with nice places to park. She did not do that. Oh my god, I'll get back to the story, but are you telling me she she scrapped your fucking 1967 Impala because she wanted to park in the garage, and she's just a girlfriend, bro. This is not a wife, mind you. Uh, she wants to park, uh, where, where was it? Anyways, I was out of town for a couple of days on a business trip for the small local company I work for. When I got back, my girlfriend was all smiles, making me food all the time, doing all the chores, all that. I thought maybe she was just happy to have me at home, but then I realized that I didn't see her car in the usual spot. I asked her where she parked so she could ma make sure I mow that area and keep it clean, and she said not to worry because she parked in the garage. I asked how, and she oh my god, I asked how, and she told me to go check it out. Turns out, while I was gone, she hired some people to come over and move everything related to the car, including the drivetrain, body, chases, and all parts and take it to the local dump scrapyard. I was absolutely dumbfounded. I had spent over 11K on that car, including new parts, services, and the car itself. I told her I was going to be taking her to court, and she brushed me off like I was being dramatic. I told her that it's done between us and to pack her things and leave. I admit I was really angry, but I did end up getting a lawyer. And as I have all the rece receipts for all the money spent, and I have her 
on my house's security cam footage, letting the guys in and watching them take it all. I th uh, think I can win. Her family and friends are absolutely blowing me up, saying it's just stupid old piece of junk, and she cannot pay back all that money I spent, and that I should just let it go. But I have been putting all my time, effort, and money into a car for a year and a half, and God damn it, I'm not going to get justice for what she did. Am I the asshole? Bro, it wouldn't matter if it was a fucking $200 car. It wouldn't matter if it was a like a fucking toaster. You don't touch people's shit, man. If you if it's your house and you invite her to come live with you and she takes something like maliciously, she waits for you to go out of town because she knew you didn't want to scrap it. She knew he she knew that you weren't going to let her scrap it. So she waits for you to go out of town and then she scraps it, okay? And then she comes back you come back to your home. She has a smile on her face and she's calling you dramatic. That is a psychopath woman right there. I need to know uh, if this woman, that actually should be a fucking felony or something. I need to know if, I'm guessing they broke up. Thank you all so much. Okay, here's the edit. Thank you all so much for the support and awards and everything. I'm glad I have some people on my side. I got a call from her mom about 20 minutes ago. And she told me that I was ruining her, grand, her daughter's life over a stupid car. I told her she ruined her own life. I've been gathering documentation and stuff. I'm about to head down to the police station file a report. Nice. Update. Went to the police station last night. Was told to come back in the morning. Just got back and filed an official report against her for grand larceny and grand theft auto. Fuck yeah, dude. I showed them all the receipts I had uh, for the car and footage of letting the guys come and take it uh, as well as a title for the vehicle in my name. They said they will be in contact with all three parties. Junkyard guys, me, the ex-girlfriend. Soon, uh, and they will hopefully be able to recover some of the car. Just have to wait now. Huge update. They found my, my car. The junkyard guys apparently were in the middle of hiding it when the police came to ask some questions. It was on a forklift and they were putting it on top of a pile of cars that was hidden behind more piles of cars. They said it was theirs and they had the title, but obviously didn't have the title for it. And since they matched the, the VIN on the chases and body to the VIN on the, my title, it's obviously mine. Dude, you, you can just get to the point. I know I have at least one person there was... Uh, oh, shit, hold up. I know at least one person there has been arrested. I think he was in the camera footage I talked about earlier, but I don't know if it was the boss or whoever. Okay. They also told me they would be looking uh, into this specific junkyard for any other vehicles stolen. They, have, they haven't been able to get in contact with my ex just yet, but they're working on it. I'm so glad they found my car. Luckily, I made a quite album of pictures detailing. I don't care about all that. Um... Thank you all so much for the support and advice. She's going to be all right. Hold on. I need to know if she sue her ass, sue her for the cost. Plus that, this was four years ago. Holy, definitely not the asshole. Um, I just need to know if she went to jail. Like that, like that is a, a felony. If I was to do that to somebody, if I would, if I was to go into somebody's house and steal a car and take it to a scrapyard, not even get any money out of it. That's actual, like, why is she, uh, I wonder if she's doing time.